Hi, this is Callan Bentley. Welcome back for another Smart Figure. After watching this video, you should be able to describe the difference in the characteristics between intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks and why that difference exists. So you'll recall that all igneous rocks form from molten rock. And if that molten rock is below the surface of the Earth, we call it magma. If it's above the surface of the Earth, like it was erupted from a volcano, it goes by a different name, we call it lava. Now lava and magma produce two different kinds of igneous rocks. Magma produces intrusive igneous rocks, whereas lava produces extrusive igneous rocks. And the reason that two different kinds of rock can come from what is essentially the same stuff has to do with how quickly that molten rock cools down. As it cools, it crystallizes, and new mineral crystals start to form and grow over time. But because the magma is deep underground, where it's surrounded by lots of warm rock that helps insulate it, it loses heat very slowly, which means that there's lots and lots of time to form nice big mineral crystals. On the other hand, extrusive igneous rocks are erupted from a volcano onto the rather chilly surface of the Earth. So in contact with the atmosphere and the cold land and perhaps even water, they lose heat very quickly. So the lava will chill and it ends up making extrusive igneous rocks that have a very, very fine grain texture, meaning the individual mineral crystals are very small because they don't have very much time to form. So what does this look like? Well, extrusive igneous rocks have large crystals that are readily visible to the naked eye, meaning you don't need a magnifying glass or a microscope to look at them. On the other hand, extrusive igneous rocks are so fine-grained that you will not be able to see the individual mineral crystals with the naked eye. You will need a microscope or something like it in order to see the individual mineral crystals. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Here is a sample of rock. This sample of rock measures five centimeters across. You tell me, is this intrusive or extrusive? How did you know, and what can you tell me about its past history? Think about it for a second, and then I'll reveal the answer. Well, hopefully you notice that there are readily visible mineral crystals, big chunks of black and white that make up this rock specimen. So that tells you if you can see the individual mineral crystals that it's a coarse grain texture. It's got big crystals and therefore it's got to be intrusive, meaning it lost its heat slowly and therefore it must have cooled from magma deep underground. So just to summarize here, intrusive igneous rocks are the ones that are formed from magma they cool down deep inside Earth, and as a result, lose their heat slowly, which means that they grow nice big crystals. They have coarse crystals or a phaneritic texture. In contrast, extrusive igneous rocks are extruded onto the surface of the Earth as lava. As a result, they cool down really rapidly, and they don't have time to grow big crystals. So their crystals are small, or they have an affinitic texture. Thank you very much for your attention. This has been another Smart Figure.